Good day, this is Leroy Davis again here with your Veteran View Show. And today we're gonna to be talking with Mr. Benjamin Whitaker uh, about an uh, event that's going on the day prior to the Veterans Day Parade. And we have Miss Simi Burns, Pop Burns' daughter, you know, my best friend. She's here with me and we're gonna discuss the Veterans Day Parade. Now, you know, this is a great time of the year and uh, we have the football games going on, but one of the most important things that happen every year, this time of the year, in November, is the Veterans Day Parade, where we get a chance to honor our veterans who have served this nation and those who are currently serving. So today, we're gonna talk about the events that's gonna be going on for this Veterans Day weekend. And we wanna start with Mr. Benjamin Whitaker. Ben, tell us about your event that's going on Friday. Well, on that Friday, uh, we'll be feeding veterans and their families, first responders, police, uh, corrections, uh, at Lake Bottom Park at one o'clock. And what, the food will be free? Everything's gonna be free, everything. Uh, we got refreshments, we got food, we got entertainment, and we also have free giveaways. Uh, also, because you know, I attended the last one, yes. and I truly enjoyed it. Now, you, you have security there as well. Well, we're gonna have the police uh, there, <laughs> police, sheriff's department, so I think we'll handle that well. And, and that goes great with these three-day events that we're having. And then the next day will be the Veterans Day Parade, Saturday, November the 9th. And we have Miss Simi Burns here with us. This is Pop's daughter, Simi Burns. And Simi, help me talk about the Veterans Day Parade. Sure. Well, the Veterans Day Parade was something that was near and dear to Dad's heart. So that's why this is vitally important that we get the information out about this wonderful event. Um, Dad, we started this parade in 2010, and I vividly remember him saying that we have a parade for everything else, but we don't have a parade for veterans. So Dad tirelessly planned this event, and oftentimes he poured his own money in order to make sure that this event happened. So we all gathered together to make sure that Dad's love for veterans, it, that it endures, but most importantly, we're here to make sure that veterans are celebrated in the manner in which they most deserve. So I want to encourage people to say yes to this fun and free event and remind people that not so long ago that our veterans said yes to fighting for our freedom. Ultimately, some of them making the ultimate sacrifice. And that's great because you lead right into what I was going to say. Veterans wrote a check mm -hmm. to the United States of America mm -hmm. to serve and go anywhere they wanted them to go at any time of notice that was given. But one of the other things that I want to make sure that we get out there to veterans is there's still time for you to register, to put your float or your vehicle in the parade. Would you give them the address, please? Yes. So you can do that online. At, at, again, it's very easy at parks.columbusgeorgia.gov. The application is right there on the first page. It takes two minutes to fill out. The cutoff to sign up for the parade is October 25th. So please, I want everyone to kind of act today and make sure that they're signed up. Again, it's parks.columbusgeorgia.gov. And that's great. Now, leading to our next event on Sunday. See, this is a three-day event that we're doing for Veterans Day. We start out that Friday with the cookout in the park and the food is free and the food is good. And then that Saturday, we have the Veterans Day Parade. And after we finish the parade, then that Sunday, we will have church service at St. James AME Church in, uh, in Columbus, Georgia. Now, do we have the address for St. James? Well, it's at 2 p.m. and I'm not really sure on the address, but I can get that to you in uh, just a second. Uh, well, I can tell you this. It's located right next to the new sheriff department in Columbus and across the street from the Columbus Police Department. So service starts at 2 o'clock and you have uh, service and then they will feed you after service. So if you plan on attending the service, please give me a call at 0 at 706-718-4440, and then we can plan for how many people we need to feed. Again, this is going to be a great Veterans Day parade this year, and next year going to be even better because we plan on having something for you to do after the parade. And I want to say one other thing, Mr. Homer Watson will be our Grand Marshal this year, and you will see him standing up there in his Vietnam uniform. He's a retired Command Sergeant Major, 
who served in Vietnam, and he uh, served with Colonel Moore, or should I say General Moore, who the base is named after. And he'll be up there with a smiling face, and he'll be just waving at you and everything in uniform. So we'll see you then uh, for our Veterans Day Parade. And please go and register, put a vehicle in, show the veterans your appreciation. And bring the kids out so they can see those veterans riding down the street. Do we have anything else, Benjamin, that you would like to say? Uh, that pretty much covered it. We, we just, uh, our, our organization is grassroots. We, this is our third event. And, and we want to say that Pop Barnes has just been the very catalyst that got us to where we're at. And we, we're going to pay homage to him at our event this year uh, and to the family uh, of Pop Barnes. So we're just thankful for him. And we just want to say uh, thank you for your service for all veterans uh, and their families. And Simi? Well, again, I want to encourage our community, our Tri-City community, to kind of show up and show out um, as either a participant mm -hmm. or a spectator in order to really thank our veterans for all that they have done. And as we close today, I would just like to say thank you, veterans, for your service. But not just that, but to the wives of the husbands who stayed at home while their her husband or wife were deployed, thank you to you because you had such an important role in raising those children and doing the other things to keep that house together while that veteran was gone. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on the Veterans View Show.